And what we're going to end on uh, today is something under this section trauma. So on the homepage, if you click on trauma, um, what we're wanting to do is create a database of coping mechanisms. So we've covered some of them today in the talk, but here, things that have worked for you. If you've been a victim of abuse, um, something that had worked for you, something that's worked for someone you know, if you can leave it here, what we wanna do is build up a database of things that you can do to actually you know get get help essentially um so what i'd like um as a final um note from our guests then is um how to overcome the scars of abuse um i if you don't mind fifo if you could tell viewers how you begin to overcome what happened to you? Okay, I will um, start in my community ways. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Okay, so I will start with my community ways. Um, you know, the more you tell people, and as um, Madinke said, people of like minds, positive people, the more you tell people and the more you get courage from them, the more you feel, okay, it's not bad after all. And I also, yes, I read um, the story of Joyce Mayer about how she was abused by her father and how she overcame it. So I, I felt, wow, if this woman of God could um, share her story and could share how she overcame her sexual abuse by her father, this is not my father and I'm feeling this way. So I don't have any reason to feel to feel um, less of a person or to feel inferior because this is what happened to me. So listening to people's story, reading books, watching movies about how people overcame such things, it's given me an idea, okay, yeah, I, I can receive strength from this. So um, people often neglect um, words from people or motivation or anything, they feel, okay, doesn't have effect, but the retreat is what's actually have effect on people. The words you listen to have effects on you, whether negative or positive. So I advise you, um, you, you are conscious of the kind of people you listen to, the kind of books you read, the kind of um, stories people share with you, because the truth is words actually have effects on people. And the um, effects of the words spoken to me by people is what's actually, it's part of the thing that actually made me strong. The words I listen um, to people speak to me and, the books I read, you know, experiences, because I, I am curious, what's, how do they overcome this thing? You, ha you have to be curious. If you really want to come out of your problem, you have to, you have to be ready and take away all guilt and be actually ready to know that, okay, this is it, I am in for this. So I was curious, I started checking out uh, movies, as, um, experiences of people, all that. So when I it, it was just like a solution to, to my problem. I, I felt peace. I felt, okay, fine. So this is it. So I was curious. I was open to learning and I, I was ready to um, dismiss negative thoughts about this, making me feel like, okay, this, this is, you, you are actually bad for doing that because like I didn't get said, you are not to be blamed. So I got strength from that. This needs to be good experiences and all. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for that and uh, an inspiration to other potential victims. Joseph, you're nodding away there. Give us your tips for overcoming the scars if you've suffered abuse. Well, um, I would support heavily what people mentioned about always being eager to learn about other people's stories. And there's something very powerful about other people's experience because it makes it very real. It makes it to the point where it's not just it's a cliche of saying do A, B, C and you'll be fine. This is somebody who has gone through what you've gone through. This is somebody who has been in the same depths you have been and they have come out of it. So try and find as much as possible. How did they do that? How did they overcome what they went through? 
And personally, there's um, going to be issues with recurrences. And by recurrences, I mean you have occasional moments where you feel down about it. Then will reoccur in your mind, and it's kind of it's like a trauma. It's basically a trauma. Mm -hmm. Same is that there's every tendency that to come back every once in a while. And so during those times when it does, just keep reminding yourself, like Adenike said, A, you're not at fault. You are definitely not to be blamed for anything that happened. And B, you are worth so much more. And so you just keep those thoughts in your mind of saying, this happened to me, yes. Would this define me? No. People come out of these things, yes. What did they do? Find out who they are, what they did, how they overcame it, and then try and practice those things. Because it's one thing to say, oh, I studied the lives of people who have overcome abuse, but what did I do with that information? Is then a question of, I uh, learn from them, and then I do on a daily basis, on a daily basis. And that is the thing with these kinds of issues. You take it a day at a time, a day at a time, a day at a time. And so you don't check off years of trauma in months. No, you don't put yourself under that kind of pressure of saying, in six months, I'll be fine. Some people have studied and done this process for years and they are still going through the same processes. Yeah, yeah. So saying a day at a time, one day, let's take today as it is, and then next day as it comes, and then next day after that. And so you put yourself in a situation where you are being patient with yourself. And that is so important. Because you say, I don't have to push myself to just be fine. Yes, no. I don't do this. Yes, I'm not at fault. And yes, I'm worth so much more. Now let's get working on myself on a daily basis. So that Excellent. would just be Excellent advice. Thank you for that.